What's going on YouTube? Chris here with Reticulous Reptiles. I just wanted to tell you guys, I'm on my way to Walmart right now because I gotta pick up a few supplies. Uh, this is my friend, she's coming on with me. Name's nice. Ariana. And uh, <laughs> you guys, today's gonna be an educational day. I'm gonna teach you guys 10 facts about snakes that most people don't know about. So, once again, thank you guys so much for watching and you are watching Reticulous Reptiles. Fact number one, did you guys know that snakes actually have legs? Let me show you. You see that little spur right there? That's actually the remnants of one of their legs back when these guys were lizards. So if anybody ever says that a snake doesn't have legs, Technically they're right, however, technically they're also wrong. So why do you guys think snakes take their tongue and flick it out like that? Well, let me tell you the answer. When they flick their tongue, their tongue is forked so that it can collect molecules in the air. Then it sucks that tongue back up into its mouth and sticks it into an organ that is at the top of their mouth called the Jacobson's organ. That organ can actually take those molecules and the brain can process what those molecules are. So the snake actually can identify what is in their surroundings without even seeing it. So that's actually pretty darn cool guys. Alright guys, I know you guys have seen me feed these guys before, but I've never asked the question, do you guys know how often I feed them? So, a lot of people ask me this actually all the time, how often do your snakes eat? And the answer is, I feed my snakes once a week. And uh, during the winter time, when it's cooler and their metabolism slows down, I'll feed them once every two weeks. So, guys, um, it's actually pretty cool, and actually, um, on some of the bigger snakes, such as like the uh, the retics and the anacondas, when they're full grown, uh, out in the wild, sometimes they'll eat once a year. Yeah, if they catch a big enough prey, like a caiman or a capybara, they will eat once a year. Now, my anaconda and my retics, when they're full grown, they'll eat um, rabbits, and uh, I'll probably feed them about once a month or so. Isn't that pretty cool, guys? Do you guys wish you could do that? Comment down below. Alright, who knows if snakes can see very well? And the actual fact is, guys, when they are not in shed, they can see pretty darn good. But uh, what I mean by in shed, let me show you uh, my girl Camo right here. She's in a deep blue right now. Look at her eyes. Do you see how there's that deep blue tint to them? She actually is probably having an extremely hard time to see right now. She was probably actually with her heat pits following the heat of the camera. That's what she was seeing. So, uh, but guys, absolutely gorgeous. But do snakes um, have good vision? They actually do. Do all snakes lay eggs, guys? That's actually a pretty darn good question because most of us are taught that, uh, you know, during, <clears throat> excuse me, during the process that the snakes lay their eggs to have their clutch. The, uh, the truth is, is that yes, a lot of snakes do have eggs, but not all of them have eggs. Uh, corn snakes have eggs, pythons have eggs, but boa constrictors do not 
have eggs. They have live young. Uh, it's the same for garter snakes. They have live young. Rattlesnakes, they have live young. So, uh, guys, uh, not all of the snakes in the world lay eggs. How many of you knew that? Comment down below and let me know. All right, guys, another thing that a lot of people don't realize is just how polymorphic snakes are, meaning that their colors and patterns and stuff like that can change drastically. Okay, so these two right here... So the, uh, the one that my finger is pointing at right now, that is Happy, and then the one up top here, that is Casper. Okay, they are both ball pythons. They, uh, they just have two genetic mutation differences. Happy, hi. Happy is a passed off a ball python, and Casper has a recessive trait known as hypomelanistic, or ghost as we call it in the ball python world. So, and then it even goes as far, guys, this little girl right here, they're all ball pythons. Okay, that's Baby. She's a uh, lemon blast ball python. And you can see they're all ball pythons, guys. This is why people love ball pythons so much. They're so unique, they're so different, and uh, they're all just fantastic pets. Another question I get asked a lot, guys, are all snakes venomous? Now, a lot of people would say that they would think that this guy right here is venomous simply because of his uh, unique colors. Uh, a lot of people think, oh, if it's, if it's got bright colors, it's a venomous creature. Not the truth here in this case, guys. No python, no boa constrictor has any venom. They all kill by constriction. So, are all snakes venomous? No. No, they're not. Another question that I get asked a lot, guys, do snakes blink? The answer is no, they don't blink, they have no eyelids. So, what they have instead, they've got actually a scale that does actually cover their eye. It creates a hard surface so that their eyes don't get scratched while going through grass, dirt, or like some branches or something like that and then they actually shed their eye cap when they shed. Pretty cool, right? The real big question here is, guys, do snakes sleep? Now, yes, they do sleep. However, as you could tell there, I can't even tell if Wesley is asleep or not. Uh, it is impossible to tell if a snake is asleep to an extent. I mean, if they're not moving, if they're not flicking their tongue, uh, if they haven't moved for an extended period of time, then yes, they could be asleep, but it's actually, it is impossible to tell if they are asleep or not. All right, guys, number 10, final one. A lot of people ask, are snakes cold and slimy? Or a lot of people think that they are cold and slimy. The fact of the matter is, they are neither cold nor slimy. They are cold-blooded, meaning they can't regulate their own body temperature, also known as ectothermic. However, because a lot of these guys survive in tropical or subtropical uh, environments, their, their temperatures need to really sometimes be 80 or above. So no, they're, they're not cold. And as far as the slimy part, they kind of look a little slimy because their scales can be a little shiny. Hello. <laughs> but um, it would be very inefficient if they were slimy. Dirt, twigs, all sorts of stuff would get stuck to them while they're crawling on the ground. So no, they're not slimy guys. They, uh, they're not cold. They are just creatures. Hi. Boop. <laughs> all right, guys. So, it was a fantastic weekend. I had a lot of fun here, guys, uh, teaching you guys a little bit of an educational series this time. And uh, Buttercup liked it as well. <laughs> um, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been an absolute blast. Uh, if you guys have any more questions, comment down below. I always try and comment back whenever I can. Um, until next week, guys, as I say every time, take care of yourselves. Take care of somebody else. And I'll see you guys next week.
another another uh, good question. God, I see that one from the start. So. Alright guys, I ran out of bloopers, so I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> 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 